Hi everyone, this is Maria Law, and then today I'm here at Under the Sun Farm, and I have an exciting full day with you. First, I'm here to look at what is growing, what is in season, to also see their farm stand, their beautiful farm. I'm going to meet with a farmer, and then later on, I am going to be going to New Bedford to the farmer's market and see exactly what they picked fresh. And then much later on today, I am going to be cooking with what I choose at the farmer's market, something really amazing and fresh and literally farm to table. I am here with the owners. Milton Tixero. And? And Milton's wife, Caitlin. And we are going to be going through this beautiful farm of yours. I can't wait. Now, how long have you been farming? Uh, I've been farming about since I was eight years old. It's probably when I started wow. working on a farm. So, yeah. yeah. That's it's wonderful. It's been a while. And now we, we're meeting your son. Yep. And and this is this is a family business. Yep. This is a, a really true family business. Do you help mom and dad at the farm too? You do. Yeah, I can see that. Very helpful. Huh? Very helpful. Do we get to go out into the farm, into the field? Oh, you brought your rubber boots. I so did. I, I came prepared. I came prepared with my rubber boots, so I am ready to go into the field. So let's head over. So this right here is the the pea field. Oh. Uh, we have about four varieties. Um, the earliest ones are where the boys are picking right there right now. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> Look how red this pea is. Oh, that's a fava bean, honey. Oh. Yeah. We'll pick peas for a little while, then they'll come pick strawberries. And then the strawberries are there. Yep, the strawberries are right over here. Oh, wonderful. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Basically, every day we we start pretty early, and we have a list of uh, the products that we would like to see harvested. Yeah. And then we go out and we harvest till about mid morning, and then we bring it into our building. And that's where we go through washing and packing and chipping. We kind of have a philosophy. We want to keep it as fresh as we can. Yeah. Within yeah. 24 hours is usually kind of my window of nice. from the market and when we harvest. See? See? Oh, wow. Thank you. And there they are. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. <gasps> Look at the peas. Oh, my no, God. I huge. love them. They're, they're huge. huge. We already cracked them. I know they're beautiful. Oh, I love that. Oh. And and they may make beautiful sounds too. They do. What's your favorite vegetable on the farm, Travis? Peas. 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 Well, I mean, I love peas too. I think this is what I'm going to choose to make a dish. I think this is it. Oh, this dish that my mom would make with them. I can't wait. So, and hopefully you'll What's get... What's the dish? Oh, Can it's... You do I have to wait? Yeah, I think you okay, might have okay. to. But it's it's these stewed peas with chorizo and poached eggs. Oh, yes. yes. It is just divine. I'm familiar with that. Yeah, yes. it is yeah. divine. And it's just, this season is perfect for it. So I can't wait. I can't wait to make that. See? Yeah. Look, the leaves. The green leaves that are coming up in between. Oh. Do you see that? Those are the pumpkins. I see them. Do you see them? No. Oh, now you do. Okay. Yay! The peas. The peas. So these are the peas that you'll be taking to the market today? Yes. That's wonderful. Hi, dear. How are you? I'm just, how are you? Oh, fine. <laughs> So here she's just bagging some of the baby greens that came out of the greenhouse. Oh, okay. This oh. is all stuff that's coming in right now. Um, we'll be packaging it up and putting it, getting it ready for today's market. Yeah. So this is it, folks. You see them picking. You saw that. Now they're washing it and getting it ready to go to market. That is that fast. And like you said, you like it within 24 hours. So everything is fresh. There is no cross-country truck ride uh, of your vegetables. It is literally farm to table. And, um, and we have it here. And we need to utilize these, these farms because it's so important. Just want to say thank you. 
thank you for the time, um, taking out of your time to do this, because I know you're getting ready to go to market right now. But I truly appreciate this whole um, tour of your whole farm. I really, I really loved it. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you thank so you much. Very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I do know the most beautiful flower in here. You know the most beautiful flower in here? Yes, and uh, what is it? It's right behind you. It is? <gasps> These here? Yes, they are beautiful. No. Bubble gum petunias. Bubble gum petunias. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I feel like having bubble gum now. Mmm. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm here in downtown New Bedford at the Custom House Square Farmer's Market. And in the summer, you can find it every Thursday in the afternoon. Well, this morning I was under the Sun Farm looking at all the beautiful vegetables they were picking. Now I get to go to the Farmer's Market and pick out the vegetables that I want to create an amazing dish with later on today. So come along with me as we go through the Farmer's Market. Welcome to the market. I know, now here. I feel like I'm seeing you all day. I saw yes. you this morning, and now I'm seeing you again. And this is your farm stand. So you've got some mint, and you've got some basil. It all looks beautiful. But I think I have to buy some peas. Gotta go with the peas. I gotta go with the peas. <laughs> You're here for the yeah, peas. I'm here for the peas. This is the star of my dish yeah. that we'll be enjoying later together. Very looking forward And to that. I'm gonna be making this um, stewed peas with Portuguese sausage, um, either chorizo or linguiça, I haven't decided yet, and some poached eggs. Delicious. So with some fresh bread, some wine, I think we'll be okay. You know what, let's do one more, just to be on the safe side. Because you, can never you know, have too many peas, you can right? never have enough peas. <laughs> oh my God, this is great. Awesome, you thank are. you Enjoy so your much. Peas. I'll oh, see you later. I'll see you later, hon. So now I'm gonna take these peas over to the kitchen and I'm going to create an amazing meal. And you're gonna come along with me and although you won't be able to enjoy it with me, you'll get to see it made and enjoy it after. Hi everyone, I'm here now in the kitchen and we are going to be cooking up these delicious peas. Now as you saw this morning, these were picked fresh. Then we went to the farm stand and we bought them and this is how you buy them. Okay, and then this is what you get inside. You know, it's very easy to do. You just open it up and they all are there. Look at that. This is just, this is as fresh as you can get, folks. And this is why it's so important to buy and support our local farmers because you can't get any better than this for your family. So today's dish is something that's very dear to my heart. My mom would make this especially at this time of the season and it was stewed peas with chorizo, which is a Portuguese sausage, and poached eggs on top. So I'm going to quickly go through how you can make this and for your family to enjoy. So we're going to go over here to our pot and get things started. First and foremost is the olive oil. Olive oil is, I'm using Portuguese olive oil, and what you wanna do is you wanna put enough olive oil to cover the bottom of the pan, okay? And after we have the olive oil here, now we're gonna add those onions in there. And we are going to saute. And even though this is gonna cook for a good 30 minutes, I always like to make sure that the onions sweat out and they become nice and translucent, but not golden. You don't, if it goes golden, you've overdone it. Okay. All right. Now that this is nice and translucent, I am going to add the charisse, the two pounds of charisse. And for, make sure everything is mixed well. Okay. If we didn't have peas, my mom would saute some nice onions and garlic 
and some charisse like this. And this would be like inside of fresh bread. Oh my goodness. So I'm getting all these nice memories coming back to me as I'm making this. The smell is amazing. I wish you could all be here to smell this along with me, but it's fantastic. Now see how all the colors coming through here now? This is beautiful. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start seasoning it, okay? I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt, okay? I'll go a little bit more, a little bit more. I'm gonna add some nice fresh ground pepper. Okay. I am going to also add a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. And I'm just going to eye it. Eh, it's about a tablespoon here. Go right in. Move that around. We're going to, we're building the flavors on this dish because it is so simple. And then eh, it's about another tablespoon. And it goes in. And you need to make sure that it's cooked in right there. Because even though you're adding that tomato in there, you do not want it to taste too much of a tomato. Okay. And then one of the, look how beautiful that looks already. The color is just gorgeous. This is what you're looking for. And the last thing that we're gonna add in seasoning here is pimenta moida, and that is a crushed red pepper. And each one has its own spice. And if you see a lot of those seeds, you know it's gonna be spicy. So I'm gonna do one huge tablespoon here. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do two, okay? But again, that's to your preference on how spicy you want things. Okay, beautiful, this is gorgeous. Oh my God, and I can smell that pepper coming through. All right, so now once this is done like this, now you're gonna add your peas, all right? You've got your peas all going in. You're gonna mix that around. And then you're gonna add the liquid. Now I'm using today chicken stock. But if you don't have chicken stock, which sometimes my mom wouldn't. She would use water. Sometimes she'd do half water, half chicken stock. But today, I'm doing all chicken stock. And I've got about eight cups here, but I am going to add just enough to cover the very top. Oh, I think that's it. I think I only used six cups today. Oh, this is beautiful. So of course, we had it going in a nice heat, but anytime you add liquid to it, if it's not a hot liquid, everything stops. And so now, we've gotta let it come back up to a nice boil, and then we're gonna lower it down to a simmer, and I'm going to cover this, and then we're gonna let it cook for a good 20 minutes. But I like to check like every 10 or so minutes because these are fresh peas and they're very different than what you would find, you know, later on in the season um, or frozen ones or whatever. They each kind of cook a little differently. So with these fresh peas, it might take a little less time than I'm usual to. So let's bring this up to a boil and we'll go, like I said, lower it to a simmer. So now we actually are trying it 10 minutes, not 20 minutes, because like I said, this was freshly picked this morning. So, I mean, I think the, the time lapse, if I do 20, they're gonna become too mushy. And going in here, just by smelling it, I can tell it's done. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in just to try, and a good way to try to see if the peas are cooked, you can always take the pea and kind of go up against the pan and just kind of like squish it a little here just to see how it gives. And one just like broke really quickly and that's really good. And then I'm gonna go in and just try this and not being careful not to burn my mouth, but I'm gonna just see how 
all of the stuff that we put in there now has come together and I can, it smells so good. Oh my goodness, it's fantastic. It's actually perfect. So what we're gonna do is I am going to lower this a little bit more and I'm going to start poaching some eggs in it. So as you see, we have all of this nice liquid and you're gonna poach about one egg per person. The other thing you have to think about is how long you wanna poach it. There are some people that like runny eggs, and that would be me, and I like it so that when I serve this dish that you can cut that yolk and that creaminess goes into that, uh, all of that that's in there and makes it even more decadent. So who knew peas could be decadent, okay? So we're gonna cut this up here, we're gonna break an egg, and I'm being really, really, not to try to get any, any of the crack in the egg here. Usually I like to do it in a bowl and put it in here, but I'm going right in. I'm, I'm, I'm putting caution to the wind here. I'm just putting that in. I'm gonna put up six eggs because I think we're gonna have about six people that are gonna be coming and enjoying this. And I can't wait till the people from um, Under the Sun Farm are gonna be coming and having this with us. It's gonna be really wonderful. And I think we're gonna have some more company joining us too. So the more the better. I think a table filled with people, with great food, great conversation, laughter. These are memories that we create around a table. And, um, and right now, we're sharing a childhood memory of mine. And this is, uh, this is all coming back. A family table, friends. You can't get any better than that. And now we're gonna bring this up to a little boil again. You know what, maybe I'll add another egg. Maybe I'll get it before everyone else. Okay. Or if someone wants two eggs. Okay. And we're just gonna let that simmer a little. And then I am going to, oh there, yeah, there it is. There it is. We don't wanna break it up too much. I'm going to cover it and bring that up to a simmer. And we can already see some of the egg is already starting to cook. And we're just gonna let it poach for, oh, a few minutes. That's it, just a few minutes. And then it'll be done and then we'll all get to enjoy this, and I can't wait. As these eggs are poaching, it's just gonna take just a few more minutes, really, and next time I see you, we'll be serving this, and uh, I can't wait till you see it all complete. And here it is. Oh my goodness, I am just so thrilled. We're all here at that table here. Look at this. It looks good. It looks good. The last thing that I like to do before serving is just add a little bit more color. And that's with just some chopped flat leaf parsley. Look at that. And I know it, look how the color is. I love that. I love the red and the green and all that. And it smells really great. Yeah, I think it's time. Let's start making a plate. Let's do that. And we have some bread. We have some, some little wine going on here. Let's Thank do you. that. Growing up, I used to put the bread at the bottom of the bowl so that all the juices would like, would kind of like all of a sudden just soak in there. Look at there. Whoops, there you go. And then for me, I've got to have some too. Do you like red or white? Uh, for me, I think I'd like red. Let's do that. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna break the bread. <laughs> oh, that sounds wonderful, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, you can hear that crunch. <laughs> Just like Oh, I think you can do it. I think you have nice muscles in there. Oh, yeah. 
Nice job. There you are. Thank you. That's awesome. Just a toast to just an amazing day to you, to all the farmers and making this happen, this amazing meal happen. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. This, is real, this sauce is mm. really good. Mmm. Okay, let's get in there. Yeah, there's a little heat. That's nice, but not mm. bad. Mmm. Mm. Wow. So delicious. How simple. The broth. And good. Just really good. <laughs> you have, it melts on your tongue. What's that? It just melts on it your tongue. It does, doesn't it? Thank you so much. It's because of you we're here, you know. Mm -hmm. It's the farmers. That's what's most important. It is all about, you got to show love to your farmers. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's what we're trying to do. And more people to show that's the love. Right. <clears throat> that's right. That's right. It's a very typical Azorian, Azorian yeah. yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. dish. Absolutely. Because you ate within season. Mm -hmm. So around this time, I knew I was always going to have fresh peas. Mm -hmm. I knew I was going to have green beans as it went further along. Then I knew I was going to have fresh fava beans because that was just the way it, it, it would progress. A lot of people didn't eat this way and they would consider like, you know, this is peasant food, you know, because it's a very, you know, you eat what you have available and the time and all that stuff. But if this is peasant food, you know, I'm a peasant. <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining me today as I went to the farm and then farmers market and now enjoying this. You know, the key thing is, is supporting our farmers and throughout the summer and pretty much nine months out of the year, you can go to a farmer's market and pick out the most amazing fresh vegetables that you can find and it's worth it. It's worth it to do it. It's amazing flavors and support your farmers. They really are our unsung heroes. And to that, I say cheers.